guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tara if you are new here welcome today we are going to have a play with my Jeffree Star blue blood palette I have already filmed a, another video with this little guy that was like my first impressions review and sort of kind of testing out whether or not this palette is beginner friendly just going on what I've seen, you know, what I had seen on videos that I had watched before I got my palette and filmed my video. I was a little bit worried that I wasn't going to be able to use it. You have to go and watch that video. So I will post a card up here for you to go and watch that video if you like. But today we're going to have a play and I'm going to try and do a few things that I didn't do in my first video and let's see if we can you know create magic or create a mess or something that belongs in the circus I don't need to tell you anything about it because I'm sure if you're here watching this you've already watched tons and tons of videos that talk about the packaging and da 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 and we're not here for that we're here to put on some makeup so here's the palette and just before I do start, I just want to let you guys know that I'm doing it without foundation. I, you know, with the first time I used it, I realized that you really do have to do it before you do your face makeup. And this time I'm going to actually prime my eyelids. And I've got two choices. I've got NYX and I've just got some Maybelline concealer. This one's a little bit dark. So I think I might go in with the Maybelline concealer because it is a lot lighter and I think that that's going to be the best option. How is everybody today anyway? Everybody having a great day? Um, I've already nearly stuck it in my eyeball so I best concentrate. Um, it's the school holidays here at the moment too guys so I apologize in advance if you hear any of my children yelling and screaming I do have four boys and they're all home I'm also babysitting today so I have a fifth child here another boy so I do have five boys here and anybody with boys or kids in general knows that you can't keep them quiet <laughs> no matter how much you try or how much you beg them so I'm not even going to try just thought I'd let you know if you hear anyone screaming or whatever it's just my kids fighting over an Xbox controller or an iPad or something but I'm just going to use a brush and brush this out I've got to be honest guys I have never never ever used a concealer on my eyes before so you know I don't even know if I'm doing this right um, anybody that has a better idea of what to do and if I am doing it right please let me know in the comments because I do appreciate con constructive criticism um, because I am only learning and I would love to improve my skills so yeah please let me know if I'm fucking this up in any way thanks so that's one eye and I'm just going to pop this on the other eye. I actually don't know if I like how this feels. My skin's um, playing silly buggers with me at the moment. It's kind of breaking out everywhere. I started using um, a clean and clear uh, face wash because I had a pimple and um, it turned into like 15. So that face wash is shit. I won't be using that anymore because it's caused a massive breakout. I don't know why. But that's the only thing I've changed and I've got pimples popping up everywhere. So, alright. Oh, also, 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 I've actually, anybody that does follow me, watch my, my videos, you'll know <laughs> my plight with my eyebrows. 
the struggle is real with my eyebrows. I've actually plucked them today, so I've given them a different shape and I'm going to try and carve out actual proper eyebrow. But I'll do that, you know, off camera um, when I do my face makeup. Uh, I, I don't know, I just had like an epiphany that um, maybe the actual shape of my eyebrows was why my eyebrows always look shit. I could be wrong. But, you know, <laughs> I've tried just about everything else, so that was the next step, I guess. Okay, so that's done. My eyebrows, my eyebrows, God, see, I've got eyebrows in the brain. They really do cause me so much pro so much anxiety and problems, my freaking eyebrows. Anyway, I've primed all of my eyelid, and now we're going to dive in, and I think... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the lighter shades. Oh, has anybody that's got this palette noticed what it smells like? Like it fully smells like chemicals. Uh, it's just a just, just disgusting smell. Um, but anyway, I'm going to prime, I think, with uh, maybe this one up here. I haven't used this one. What's that one called? Uh, priceless? Priceless? Yep. I'm going to dive in and do that. I'm just going to pick up a nice big fluffy brush. All my brushes are all no name crappy brushes so no point me telling you what they are because they do not say anything. It just says cover and crease duo eye brush so I'm guessing I'm going to cover so it might be the right brush. Who knows? So I'm just dipping into Priceless and just going to put that everywhere. Just priming I get not priming but what is it like just putting that there just hopefully to help blend the colors out um, because I'm needing all the help I can get as far as that goes and um, I don't even know if this is the right way to do it but like I said constructive criticism is always welcome and if anybody that watches my video does makeup or is a makeup artist or a makeup enthusiast or whatever that actually knows what they're talking about please 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 let me know in the comments if you have any advice or anything for me because I would love that honestly I would love it okay so that's done how is it looking is it looking all right it's looking a bit yellowy that's okay we can work with that Okay, next. Oh, shit. I should have used Wealthy. Oh, god damn it. I should have used that one. Oh, well. I'm not starting all over again. That's okay. We can we can work with that. We can work with that. I'm actually going to zoom you in, I think. Just so you can see my eyeballs a bit better. Oops. No, 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 no. Not that far. What am I doing? How about that? Is that good? I can't really see it's so uncomfortable. I think I think last time I did a really bright blue big thing. Um, I don't really want to do the same sort of thing, so I might try something different. And I'm going to what brush do I use? See, I even struggle with like. What brush? What brush do you use for different things? I have no freaking idea. Alright, so what I might start with is I might go in with Blue Blood, this one, this little guy here, and I'm just gonna fill in like the crease area. I've probably fucked it up already by choosing that priceless colour probably gonna look rat shit but let's just go with it um I'm pretty sure if, you know it's gonna look freaking disgusting <laughs> yay I must say though this color is really pigmented and um, definitely blending out a lot nicer than the colour that I'd used 
before. Actually, I suppose it doesn't look too terrible, does it? No? Yes? Fuck it, I'm just gonna keep going. I know from experience that it could look really, really terrible. Whoops. I went a little bit too high with that. <clears throat> um, it could look really, really terrible, but then it'll come together later. And I'm seeing that a lot. A lot with this palette. Oh, God. Like, I've already gone way too... Like, it's so draggy already. <sighs> this one looks good, but this one far out. I wonder if I can blend that out, actually. I am going to dip into Wealthy quickly. So I'm going to see if I can, like, shear that down a little. Because it's way too high. And way too soon. What do you reckon? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, uh, maybe if I don't go any higher than that, yeah, we can... Oh, shit. We can save it. Like, I've gone right up into my freaking eyebrows. I've gone right up into my eyebrows. Is it going to be alright or what? Let's just roll with it, huh? Because... I, don't, I think the problem is that this brush that I used to begin with was too big. But, how are we looking? Yeah? Uh, no. <laughs> yes, no? I'm just going to move on. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with Minty. So this little guy here. I'm going to use my Jeffree Star. This one is my JS6 with mint tea. You only really got to like just tap the surface of the pan and your brush is covered. So that's, that's nice. I'm just going up here because I really just want to try and create like a gradient effect. And fuck me, Ronan. It looks so much worse on camera. If I can just get it to blend it a little. See, that looks alright. That's fine. Um, and it, it's going to look whacked. Whacked as. Um, anybody that's already used this palette will know that it looks crazy until you actually finish and then go in and clean it all up before you do your base. And that's a true fact. If if you do have the palette or you're planning on getting it, before you actually do use it, go and watch a couple of videos, a couple of like tutorials, because it's it is a tricky palette to work with, I've got to admit. Um, like when you do it like this, you can't do it with your base makeup first because it just goes everywhere. You do actually need to do it first and then you need to go in with like a makeup wipe or a cotton ball or whatever and clean it all up before you do your base and that's when it really comes together but that is what I have learned okay so how are we looking looking a bit blue but at least it's blended like it's it's massive like my eye area is like massive but I'm still feeling confident that we can do this okay so next I think I'm going to take just a packer brush I want to just deepen out like I haven't even really put anything in here yet so I'm gonna do that and I think that I'm going to go in because I want to do something super different I'm gonna go in flourishing this one this little guy we're just going to pat that in there in the little corner I'm gonna use my JS5 and one other thing too that these colors stain the heck out of your brushes so be prepared for that little surprise because they're so pigmented they will stain so like if the color stains your brush it's not gonna affect 
you know, their use later on. Oh, that looks pretty. Yeah, okay. I like that. Oh, I really like it. I really, really like it. That's a pretty colour. What's it called? Flourishing. Flourishing. What does that even mean? What does the word flourishing have to do with this colour, I wonder? I do love the colour. I love teals. It's so pretty. Come back into the light, my child. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, I am going to just blend this out a little. And I'm going to just... I better show you. I'm just going to dip into... Oh, I'm cold, which is... Oh, this one here. Just because I just want to, like, blend this a little. And I don't want to go into blue blood because it's just a touch dark oh I'm cold is is a different formula it's not super powdery like some of the other colors or some of the other shades if I'm gonna do this I'm gonna say it right I'm looking hella draggy Like I said, it'll look, it'll look crazy and it'll look shocking and it'll look shit. And if this were my first attempt at using this palette, I would right now be like, holy fuck, what the fuck, what, what the, what the fuck is going on? But I do know that it's a madhouse until later. Yeah, yeah, that's... <sighs> yeah. Even though I know, I'm still super, super, super freaking nervous that this is gonna go to shit. I'm just going back in with flourishing just in that outer corner. I don't know why whenever I go to say outer corner, like inner corner is the word that comes to my mouth first. I'm going to just tap a little bit more in that one. And, the, you know, with the with the staining of the brushes, like, you do have to wash all your brushes after you use it, which is really a big pain in the freaking ass. But it is what it is. Anyway, okay, so that's how we're looking so far. And I'm kind of wondering... Should I attempt a cut crease? I've never done one in my entire life. I think I might give it a crack. And if it all goes to shit, then I will just stop the video and delete it. And start again. So I'm just popping some concealer on my hand, as I've seen in the videos on the YouTubes. And I'm just going to go in. I've got a really fine brush like it's a tiny little thing cute little brush I'm gonna use that to, to to draw that line in there that you know that I see all the youtubers do okay, I'm gonna just dab it on my brush and let's do this oh my god I might just start with my lid and then like if I yeah go up to there this could be okay this, this could work this could work and I'm gonna go down there. Is it looking how it should? I'm going to go to down. 
down to there. Oops. Fuck. Fuck. I looked so nice and neat and then I bumped my hand or done something and fucked it. How's that? Is that a cut crease or what? It's not too bad, I guess. I might come over a bit more. And I don't know if... Like, is it normal for the colour underneath to pop through or what? How's that? Is that good? <laughs> First time ever. And it actually has turned out better than I thought it was gonna. Oops, there we go. I've done the same thing on that side too. Frig. How far over did we go? It's not the best. But it'll have to do. I'm just going to add just a little bit more on this side because the other side looks so much more opaque. How's that? Are they even? No, they're not, are they? Are they? It's going to have to do. <laughs> okay. My first ever half cut crease. Oh, okay. I wonder if it's too high because I've got like hooded eyes and I wanted to be able to see it. So, okay. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go in with just a tiny little flat packer brush and I'm just going to like soften that. And I'm going to do that with that flourishing the same colour that's on my outer corner. So we're going to do that now. I'm just going to pack it. It's not really working. It just makes my eyes super tacky. Right there. Oh. Oops. Well, how did that happen? How did that happen? Now I've got this mad wine. How the fuck? What the fuck do I do? How do I fix that? Maybe I wasn't meant to put, like, the actual... Oh, shadow colour there. <sighs> anyway, moving on. Next, I'm going to go in with... This is... I'm excited to use this one. I've been waiting to use... Uh, this one right here. Crystal Flesh. The nice glittery... Glittery one. And I'm thinking... Do I need to use, like, a, another flat brush for that? I'm kind of running out of brushes that aren't stained blue. I'm going to have to use this one. There's no more colour coming off that. Nope. See? Blue Monday stained it. I'm just going to go in with Crystal Flesh. Oh, she's crumbly as hell. Hopefully the concealer of my heart cuff crease will you know, help it stick. <laughs> Far out. I think I'm turfing this video. This is not going how I wanted it to. Like, how do you blend out that line? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, kind of like, 
kind of kind of happy with how this is it kind of looks okay anyway all right one last little thing I'm just going to go back in just to mint tea one last time and just add a touch more colour there because I really want the colours to you know to pop and then I'm just going to go into blue blood just with that big fluffy brush so I'm real at this point I don't really care how far it goes up because I'm going to clean it up um but I just want to you know I want every single color to be its own I think we're going to leave it there for now look it's even in my bloody eyebrow I'm going to leave it there for now I'm going to go clean it up and I will be back okay guys I'm back I've just put, uh, put on some foundation and I need to brag look at how cool my eyebrows look I know they're not still perfect but I'm so so happy I even managed to sort of give them a bit of a carve out <laughs> um they still don't look great but better they're getting better um as you can see I sort of cleaned it all up with a wipe and all I did was I wrapped the wipe around my finger and I just wiped it up and up and it created the shape and it does look a lot better than it did so quickly really really quickly I'm just going to finish off this look uh, we're gonna pop in some color under the eyes so for under here I think I think I'm going to go in what color have not we used yet I think we've used them all now I think that I'm going to maybe we're gonna chuck in some of entitled on the bottom lash line and I'm going to use a wee little brush for that just a tiny little brush just going to dab that on there so a tiny tiny brush and I'm gonna add that and even with a little brush like it still spreads so we're just gonna pop that in there and I'm just gonna drag it up because I like the glittery the glittery little bit of that I'm just gonna tap that in a little so I don't know if I'm going to regret that decision, but it's done, so I have to do the other one. I think it was ice tray last time that was burning my eyeball. Really, really weird, odd. Like whenever I got the brush close to my eye, it was burning the shit out of it. So it was really, really strange. And um, I'm pretty sure that I'd seen others with the same. And I'm putting that de like that chemical smell that I mentioned before. I think that might have something to do with it. Maybe. I don't know. Jeffrey hasn't really addressed it and didn't mention it during the palette reveal. So now that I've done that, I think I'm just going to blend that out a little. And I don't know guys, like, I feel like, like now that I've looked again, I need to pack some more of that flourishing. I'm just going to use a really dense little brush and gently pack you gotta be so careful because it creates a hell of a lot of fallout. That looks better. But now I've got a heap, a heap of fallout. And just one last little thing, I'm just gonna 
going with crystal flesh. Okay guys, I'm all finished. Uh, I decided to do the rest off camera just because it was all just taking a little bit long. But all I did to finish was I just added a little bit of cullinan just here on my brow bone and just dragged like you've seen entitled just along under my bottom lash and up here and then I and just oh, and a bit of cullinan just here as well in my inner corner and that is it uh, I applied mascara eyeliner and and this is the finished look I'm actually super super happy I think that it looks fantastic I'll give you a closer look and I'm um, yeah I'm super happy it's not translating on camera how I would like it to it's just popping it is so shiny and blingy but I'm so happy with my first ever cut crease well it's a half cut crease actually if you want to get technical um, yeah I I think that it looks fantastic I do have to go down to the supermarket in a minute. I'm not sure if I'm going to be game enough to wear it out. We'll see. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that, you know, you liked it. If you did, give it a big th thumbs up for me, please. I would so appreciate that. Uh, also, just before we do head off, I have just got myself some human hair clip-in hair extensions. I'll give you a little quick look at those. So yeah they just have little clips and they're yeah beautiful quality. They're actually uh maybe 16 or 20 inch I can't remember. I think they're 16 inch. But I wanted to show you those because I'm planning on coloring them to match my hair and I'm actually thinking about changing my hair color too so let me know in the comments below if you would like me to film doing that would film coloring my hair extensions coloring my hair and getting them to match so yeah let me know if you would like to see that because I can do that if you like okay guys have a fantastic day Go out and do something kind for someone because making someone feel good, it will make you feel good. That I promise. Bye guys.